Hey everybody, Puma here. Uh, I'm going to start a new project today and uh, um, it's going to be a um, hot wire styrofoam um, cutter and I'm going to go over uh, uh, right now kind of things you need and uh, before we get going. I already kind of started this project but um, I, I decided to make a video uh, so I'm, I'm just going to do that. Um, you can get the, this is a project box, you can get this at Radio Shack, um, six or seven bucks. Uh, it's plastic, it comes with an aluminum top and a uh, plastic top. Uh, I kind of like the aluminum top look, it looks kind of clean and, and neat, so I'll, I'll probably use that also, use them both. Uh, the plastic one kind of flexes, and the metal one doesn't flex as much, so... Maybe with the weight of everything on there, it'll it'll stay a little bit better. Um, piece of uh, a cord. Maybe you got a lamp that um, a lamp that went bad. You can cut the cord off of it. Uh, I always have a few of these hanging around. I cut the cords off of uh, things that go bad um, and uh, use them. You're gonna need a uh, marker so you can make your marks on your um, uh, work surface to know where to drill. Kind of lay out your your stuff. I'm going to need a small and a medium uh, Phillips head uh, screwdriver, a couple little wrenches uh, for you know some nuts and bolts that are that are on here. Um, needle nose pliers to get into different things, wire strippers. Uh, I always have a pair of uh, dikes um, just to cut some wire. I like the redundancy I guess. I could use this cutter but if I see this when I grab it. A pair of pliers just to tighten maybe larger bolts or something quickly. Uh, I'm going to use a dimmer switch um, just to get the uh, temperature setting. Now this is a, a dimmer switch that I had. Um, I, this thing probably could be like 20 years old. I just happened to find it so you know, it didn't cost me anything for it. Um, this is the kind that that turns on and then brightens and dims um, but with a uh, hot wire cutter once I get it set to the right temperature I think I want to keep it there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, uh, a toggle switch uh, before this and um, so I can just turn it on and off without without having to uh, reset it every time um, transformer uh, I, I think this is like uh, 14 15 dollars down at the Radio Shack. This is a, a 25 volt 2 amp uh, and you probably can go up to about um, I want to say 24 inches maybe maybe a little bit more uh, with your hot wire. Uh, if you're going 48, 50 inches, 60 inches you know you want to do a real big project or whatever uh, or if the wire's thicker or, or whatever, you may want to go with a uh, 4 amp uh, transformer uh, power supply. I'm going to use banana clips. So I got the, uh, the, the female and the male end to slip them in there so I can go from job to job. All I have to do is get this part here, um, or I mean these here, to put on another extension cord or whatever to go to another. Maybe I'll do it. Um, a jigsaw type deal and a bow and stuff like that. Uh, fuse, this is a 2 amp fuse holder um, because it's a 2 amp transformer so if it exceeds that power it'll, it'll pop. It's just kind of a little safety, a little uh, security on there. Uh, I'm, I'm going with a LED. This is a 120 LED. Uh, also, it's, you know, it's nice to know if your power is on or off. Uh, that's basically all I'm, I'm going to use that for. Um, also, a uh, piece of wire. I got some alligator clips um, to go between the wire. Some PVC pipe I had hanging around. The alligator clips are like five dollars. You get a pack of ten or whatever, whatever they are, a pack of five. Uh, and um, this wire is a welding wire. I just happen to have some welding wire, um, so it should hold up pretty good. Uh, the only thing is, it doesn't really bend very well. It's very brittle, 
Uh, so what I did was I took a 16th inch drill and I drilled a hole through these screws and then put a, uh, a nut on there to hold the uh, wire in there. Um, so I mean everything everything here you're looking at everything I got is probably about $40. Uh, I've seen these things in um, eBay and, and different sites. Uh, they can run anywhere from you know, 150 to to 800 dollars, depending how on how big of a, a unit you're going to make. But I'm just doing some home projects, doing some fun things. So this should be good enough for me. Um, I think that's basically it. I'm going to get out, get on with the build and, and drilling and everything. Um, I had already started, like I said, so I already got most of my uh, lid marked out and everything. Uh, the transformer is going to go you know under here um, and that's gonna go inside so actually it's gonna go on the plastic um, and then it's gonna go inside the box and everything uh, let's see I got uh, just the uh, banana clip holders to go through now these particular ones that I found um, we're in a in a plastic box, but I want to mount them directly onto this um, box. And since I have the uh, plate here, the metal plate, I got to watch out for shorting out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a big hole that'll go cover the circumference of this here, and then on the plastic I'm going to drill a small hole that'll fit the screw, just that screw there, and then it should be uh, should be safe. Uh, it shouldn't ground out or anything. Um, because you'll have this space here with the plastic around there uh, protecting you from the shorting out on the metal. But I'm going to get going on that. Um, I hate to put my back to you right now, but I'm going to go to my drill press. Uh, I'll be back and show you what, what the final looks like um, as far as drilling goes, and then it'll start assembling it. Alright, I'm back. This is what I've done. I've uh, I had all these drilled before, prior. Sorry about that. Um, and I just drilled uh, these two holes to accept the uh, banana clip uh, uh, sockets. And uh, like I said, I drilled the uh, aluminum out bigger so uh, it doesn't have any contact with the metal. Um, so we're going to just start assembling this. finished product looks like right there. Uh, once I get this going, find out which off and on, I can either turn that around or just leave it. I mean it's for my own use so um, 
the adjustment there. So we're gonna give it. A, we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna give it a test run. Now I'm using PVC. Um, this will give me the opportunity right now. This is just a test, but I can. I'm going to run this wire. These wires up inside here. You can actually clip the alligator clip inside here and pull it back down. Um, all I did was cut this with a jigsaw. Give me a little uh, space to put that in there. Uh, this isn't even glued. Once I glue it, it'll probably give me a little bit more resistance. Um, but it, sh it should do all right. That's probably a little thicker wire than you want. But like I said, this is what I had. It's welding wire. Um, so let's give it a try. If everything don't blow up, I guess I'm okay. Now this is just uh, current. Uh, there's no positive and negative side or anything, so it doesn't really matter which side you put the um, the plug into. Um, that's off, on. I flip this on. You can see light. That light doesn't go on. Once it gets up, there you go. The LED LED comes on. Complete the circuit. Let's give her. Let's give her a test run. There we go. We adjust that. Look as it can go. Now that may be a little bit too hot, so we'll just adjust that down a little bit. It's starting to glow a little red there, so I'm going to just adjust it down. You can also tell if if your wire is a sixteenth of an inch and you start getting cuts that are almost double the size. Adjust your uh, heat down a little bit because obviously the heat is expanding too fast. A good cutting speed is probably maybe a inch every uh, you know second, second and a half. That seems to be good right there. And if you start getting a little too hairy, you can see a little, little fluff there. That may be a little too cool. And that's why I wanted that switch on there so I could, uh, I could adjust. Okay, pretty smooth. Well, here you can take that off with uh, a little sandpaper. Let's see, you can get your angles, whatever. Now, I may, uh, this is a bow. And I may make a, uh, a jigsaw with it. Um, so that's why I got the banana clips on there. All I have to do is uh, get another banana clip. And 
There you go. Nice and smooth. All right, this is Puma out. Hope you uh, enjoyed it, and uh, take care.